Hi, this is uh, Liz Brown. I'm the Legislative Director for the Commission on Children and just give you a few of the highlights and lowlights of the legislative session that just ended on June 3rd, 2009. Uh, actually, it was the good times and bad times. Uh, a lot of attention, of course, was focused on the budget, which is still at this at this uh, viewing is not really resolved. So some of the uh, legislation that the Commission is very uh, happy to work with had to do with children's health. We did put forward a bill that would have established a catastrophic illness fund for children with special health care needs. That did not pass, but there is a lot of support for it, so we're hoping it will move forward uh, in the next session. Uh, we also worked hard with a broad coalition to try to address some of the transportation issues that impact childhood obesity. Can we really think about transportation and, and uh, include walkways and bikeways so that there is a, it's called complete streets, so that we're not uh, all in our cars all the time. And that, uh, that bill did pass thanks to the leadership of Representative Tom Kehoe, so we're very excited about that. And it would require uh, of, of setting a goal of using at least 1% of the uh, transportation dollars to include this type of mixed uh, transportation. So we're very excited about that. We also uh, have a new screening for newborns. They will now be screened for cystic fibrosis, which of course uh, is uh, a major disease that uh, will be added to the screening because we all know that early intervention and diagnosis uh, really goes a long way with helping children to, to lead uh, successful and normal lives. So then we were very happy to work with Representative Bruce Morris and a Rep a Senator Gary LeBeau on a new fatherhood initiative. We've had a fatherhood council um, since the days of uh, former, um, now deceased, Representative John Martinez. And the council was really charged with promoting positive fatherhood development uh, throughout Connecticut and to try to integrate fatherhood in programming. And uh, this being the 10th anniversary, we uh, passed legislation that would try to really put in some more accountability. How are we doing? We really don't know how we're doing with promoting fatherhood. So this will kind of put some accountability in and also work with Judge Monroe and the judicial branch in moving forward legislation that would try to address uh, a broader, some of the broader societal issues dealing with child support and uh, looking at national model of a problem-solving court that could be implemented in Connecticut. So we're very excited about that and uh, the legislation did pass both houses and we're hoping the governor does sign it uh, to try to kind of be innovative and try to look at uh, a different way to collect child support that would help uh, everybody, including the dead. Uh, then we looked at big year for, for green, the environment. Uh, several uh, products were banned, bisphenol A, which has been proven to be toxic in children's products. The one you're probably most familiar with is baby bottles. And that did pass and the governor did sign that into law, so that was really good. And then there was another law that was, is trying to uh, require that the school districts really start using green products and get away from the chemicals that we know uh, cause allergies and cause long-term long uh, harm. So we're very excited about that as well. And also there's a new bill that would require uh, child daycare centers to stop using pesticides. It's kind of a one of those, they're still using pesticides, but we're hoping that uh, this bill uh, it raises the consciousness that kids should not be playing around pesticides. So that, that's another precaution for children. So we're happy about that. There was a couple of other bills that would, um, uh, that, would that really uh, moved recycling along. Uh, now we will be getting a deposit on water bottles and flavored water bottles, so it's another addition to trying to get uh, those types of things out of the, the dumps and uh, into more of a recyclable, reusable product. So again, in the broader scheme of things, uh, the, the environment had a, had a stunning year this session, despite uh, all the other things. Early care and education. Uh, Right now, in both the appropriations budget and the governor's budget, most of the early childhood programs are held harmless and flat funded. 
So we're hoping that uh, at least we do no harm there. So we're, we're hoping that as the deliberations move forward, that we do uh, keep the investment in early childhood and school readiness. Uh, so we're hoping that that happens as well. Um, then we want to look at, um, when trying to address obesity, it's such a systemic societal issue. And there was major legislation that would require fast food restaurants uh, that hate, had 18 or more restaurants in Connecticut to really start putting the labels uh, of the caloric content of their products. We know that Subway has done this forever, and it really makes a difference. You know, you go in and you can order a, you know, a, a sandwich, you know exactly how many calories you're eating, and try to cut back if, if possible. So I think it's a step in the right direction. Many states are moving this, so Connecticut, again, is a leader in trying to really just raise the consciousness because calorie intake really determines um, your, your obesity level, and we know that it's an epidemic for our kids in, in Connecticut. We're, we're looking at one out of four kids who's really uh, in trouble. So, uh, and it does have lifelong health impacts, so it's a good thing. And I think that we're, we're moving towards that public awareness uh, on, on these important issues. Um, then we wanted to, there were some major bills uh, related to the Department of Children and Families. You know, how do we really become a family-friendly agency? And I think over the years, DCF has moved more into an investigative and kind of more of a police agency rather than really working with families to help solve problems. So I think there was a major move this session to pass legislation that really tried to say, work with the families and, and try to let's get at some of the root causes. Because we know a lot of it has to do with child poverty, a lot of it has to do with uh, substance abuse and some, some things that, that really we need to address as a society uh, so that we can make sure that children are in the best environments that they can. Um, and I think um, we're looking at the, um, some, some major budgetary issues that are pending. We're still trying to raise the age for juvenile delinquency. Uh, right now, Connecticut, the 16 and 17 year olds are still considered adults. We passed legislation two years ago that said by 2010, we want to move them into the um, juvenile system, which would align us really with every other state in the union. You know, I think Connecticut and Arkansas were the last ones to consider teenagers uh, adults. So that is a budgetary issue at this point. I think philosophically everybody's there, but do we have the political will to put some dollars to start to start transforming the judicial system? So that's a big one that we're hoping is really going to happen. Uh, you know, so I think all in all, um, there was some major legislation uh, impacting children, uh, and I think that we'll uh, stay tuned and we'll let you know how children fare in the budget.